This video is about discogenic back pain. What does that mean? It means back pain generated by a disc problem. Perhaps it's a bulging disc or a herniated disc. And of course, you could see this on MRI. And unfortunately, there's a lot of problems with that MRI stuff anyway. But uh, some people have bulges and herniations and they never have back pain. And other people, it does seem to be the cause of back pain. So it all depends. But if you have back pain that's due to a disc problem, I made this video because I want to save you uh, some time uh, and some problematic heartache <clears throat> that may come along. So if this video helps even one person, I'll be very happy. <clears throat> if your back pain is due to a disc related issue, like a bulging disc or a herniated disc, um, please be very careful about who you go to see. Uh, the red regular medical doctors, they, they don't have a lot they can do for you except give you muscle relaxers, painkillers, uh, anti-inflammatories, and then recommend epidurals and surgery. So if those are things you want to avoid, um, then you have to look elsewhere. But where are you going to look? Physical therapist or chiropractors? <clears throat> Both can be good choices. Uh, the problem is you've got to be careful about what kind of uh, treatment you get. For example, if you're only getting ultrasound, or in the case of the first clinician I went to, it was only laser treatment every day, laser, laser, laser. That does never addresses the underlying cause of the problem. It might help the disc to heal faster according to that clinician, but it's not going to address the underlying problems. Uh, same with other modalities like ultrasound and, and so forth and so on. <clears throat> now, as far as exercises go, this is where the real problem is. I spent a lot of time reading books, watching videos, joining membership sites, trying to find out what back exercises I can do to make my back better. Well, when it comes down to it in the end, <clears throat> after digesting all this information and all my experiences with all these different clinicians of various uh, professions, what I started to realize is that the vast majority of them don't really know how to treat your problem properly, or my problem. They didn't know how to treat mine pro properly. I can tell you that from my personal experience. So I suspect this is true for a vast majority of clinicians. If you have discogenic back pain, back pain caused by a disc problem, you want to be very careful about the movements that you do and the exercises that you take on because if you're spend, bending and flexing the spine and you've got a disc bulge in the back, you're adding to the problem instead of solving it. So the best information I found, and this is where I can save you, or I hope I can save you some time, get the book called Back Mechanic. And there's a video series that goes with that. If you go to back fitpro.com. That's Stuart McGill's website. He's the author of Back Mechanic and many other books on back pain and back problems. <clears throat> you can get the video enhanced book. So that's the book and the video together. And I would recommend that. But if you can't get that, just get the book Back Mechanic and, um, and read it multiple times so that you can digest the information properly. This is, in my opinion, and again, you know, my back problems stem back about six months ago. They started five, six months ago. Um, and I went to a lot of clinicians. I had a lot of trouble. And finally, this, I believe, is the correct information for back pain that's caused by disc problems. And again, the name of the book is Back Mechanic, you see on your screen, uh, by Stuart McGill. So <clears throat> if I can even save somebody from a little bit of pain and hassle, you know, because if you do the wrong exercises, you can actually make your problem worse and that's what you want to avoid and it appears that a lot of the people out there whether they're physical therapists personal trainers even uh, chiropractors even medical doctors they may be prescribing exercises for you that aren't good now I'm not saying that they're doing it obviously they probably aren't doing that on purpose they just don't know and that's why I think you need the information in this book back mechanic because it will open your eyes to these things and you'll begin to understand and as Stuart McGill says, you can become your own back mechanic. The guy has a lot of expertise in this area, uh, lots and tons of experience, and he's also got the academic chops behind it and the uh, uh, published peer-reviewed journal articles and all those things. This is a true researcher, uh, and this has been his forte for the last 30-plus years. So I think you can learn something from him. All right, that's all I want to say. I hope this helps even one person with a disc problem because it can save you money, time, and a lot of pain if you take the shortcut and get this book right away instead of making a lot of uh, wrong turns on a path uh, like I, I feel like I happened to me. So, thanks for watching.